Hello, welcome to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make paper bellflowers with my Cricut. All the materials in my template is linked below the video, and this template includes the flower and leaves for both Cricut and Silhouette machines. I also have a template for hand cutting for those that don't have a Cricut or a Silhouette. You could simply print and cut the shape. Once you have everything cut, I like to use this travel watercolor brush and you could feel free to use any color or use a solid color paper to begin with, but I like to make a gradient pink to recreate these bellflowers. You don't need to be a professional painter, I just brush more towards the tip and blend out on all the petals. You'll also have to flip it over after it dries and do the same to the back. Put those pieces to the side for it to dry and grab a yellow tissue paper. Cut two thin strips and gently twist the first strip. I fold a little piece that measures about the height of the shape we cut out. Then grab the second strip and twist only the top. I am trying to make three tissue paper twisted pieces as our center. Then I use the leftover tissue paper and glue with the wire stem. I like to use this white glue, also linked below, but any quick dry white glue is preferred. I use the leftover tissue paper to wrap around the stem to secure. Then I grab the original shape and crease in between the scallops. This is a small detail I see on real bellflowers. Use the same white glue to glue the ends. Also glue the bottom corners and gently press in the corners to round out the bottom. It doesn't have to look clean since it'll get covered up later. Then poke a hole into the center if you don't have a hole already and shape the scallop petals out. Take the tissue paper center and poke through. I like to use hot glue for this. Then poke a hole on the leaf shape in the center and glue that to the bottom. Floral tape the bottom about halfway. Now we'll have to repeat and make about six or more. I like to make about seven altogether if I use them in a bouquet, and if it's a single stem gift, I like to make a few more to fill up the stem. I also like to cut some a little bigger or smaller just so they don't look too identical. In our template, a guide for the sizing will be included.
Don't forget to floral tape each one. And on the last one, I like to start gathering each piece as I go down the stem. If you would like a longer stem, you could add an additional stem somewhere in the center. These flowers are great as a single stem gift or in a bouquet. Please make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Happy crafting!